r slash ask reddit, men, what non-sexual thing do you wish your girlfriend would do more often? Probably the number one reason any woman I've ever been with loved me, because I played with their hair and drew on their backs. Scritches, caressing, loving pats, massages, hugs, all the love there. You're not fooling me. You're a dog that learned to type, aren't you? Lie still when she's sleeping. Sometimes it's like sleeping next to a printing press. Printing press is such a good way to put it. One of my friend's boyfriend endearingly calls her my rotisserie chicken because of how much she likes to rotate throughout the night. Meanwhile my boyfriend's superpower is that if I get up for the bathroom in the middle of the night he'll immediately roll over and starfish across the entire bed, dead to the world and unable to be moved. How she touches me non-sexually, it can be something as small as having her hand on my shoulder when she stands behind me when I'm doing something. A gentle touch when she walks by me, I love when she rests her head on my shoulder or lap it shows that she cares and trusts me. I would love some compliments sometimes but dreams are often just that, dreams. Hey man. You look great today. Your wife told me to tell you. Run her fingers through my hair. That feeling of having fingers go over my head through my hair relaxes me in a way not even sex can. No matter how stressed slash depressed I get as soon as those fingers go through my hair I turn into a happy little kid again. What this guy said but in Spanish. Let me be little spoon. Pull her own hair out of the plug. I like spooning my guy and having his ass against my lower stomach. Especially when I have cramps lol strange but true. My husband doesn't want to be the little spoon. Every time I try, he turns around. Let me hold you dammit. Men male great little spoons. I'm a fair bit shorter than my guy so I tend to fall asleep on his back, sometimes I drool. Poor guy. I found that just asking my wife to hold me gets the point across. Ah uh, yes, jet packing. Hold me, even just for a minute. We're both busy with work and chores and kids, but I'd love it if she'd take just a minute and hold me. Hugging and watching TV together. It's the reason I'm looking for a GF in the first place. I too have a touch-based love language. Absolutely hate the loneliness spell I'm currently going through. Just ask. I've been there. Saw pull her own hair and was like damn this generation is lazy. I die, go to heaven, then possess my body every time my wife ruffles my hair or scratches my scalp, so I would love her to do that more, though she already does it quite often. I swear my husband could have written this he always asks me to lean over and ruffle his hair while he is driving, looking at the road OFC, and I'm in the passenger seat. Have a genuine, real answer as to where we eat out. Be realistic dude. Join me on my random late night expeditions to the kitchen for a snack. There's something oddly comforting about tiptoeing in the dark, rummaging through the fridge, and sharing a laugh over leftovers. Plus, it's the silly, spontaneous moments like these that make for the best memories. Sure, it's not a grand gesture, but it's in these little acts of companionship that we find the quirkiest form of intimacy. This is so precious. Let me have one day a week for myself. Context, she owns a small business and I help her. We are together almost 24-7. I love her, but sometimes I need to relax and play my games. Not work 60 hours a week. Bob's burgers but the genders are reversed. Let me spend more time in that one aisle of TJ Maxx that I like. Okay I'll bite what aisle is this? No one has said scratch my back yet, genuinely shocked. A good back scratch is amazing. It my husband goes to the aisles aisles he likes, I got the ones I like and every few minutes one of us sprints to the other to show them something. I like it. If I got more attention than her phone. The phone thing was a beginning of the end of my marriage. I am openly intolerant to phone ignorance. It's a sign of disrespect. Your time is the most valuable thing and if it is more important to constantly check what strangers post or what a secret lover says it's time to move on. She's in a powerful position at work. Has to be in charge of the entire company and at times make unpopular decisions. I wish she could relax more often and just be silly. Well wife now but quit hiding my things from me. I used to know literally where everything was and now I am useless. Yeah but like did you put them away and she moved them or did you leave it on the coffee table for 3 days and she finally found it at home after she asked you repeatedly to put it away. I love it when she sings. Even if it's just around the house or in the car or while we're making dinner together. Come up, hug me like she means it, and tell me how much she loves me. I will move mountains for that kind of affection. Let me lay on her lap and she scratches my back. Makes me purr like a walrus. Get me flowers even once. Edit, 
unprompted as women like it as well. We want a cheap ass bamboo back scratcher and a cheap carnival. It's the best back scratcher. My wife and I always said if we get a divorce, we are fighting over the back scratcher. We laughed every time we said it. I guess I won. She passed away last year. We had 30 years together. I think good thoughts of her when I use it. You do need to say I like flowers because every time I have done this for a guy, someone along the way of purchasing and transport has told me that men don't like it. Win the lottery. I'm underscore trying underscore alright. GSS. Kiss me. Make a pillow fort together. Put the bins out now and again. That would really float my boat. Her smile. Yes, I know that she is depressed, but I would like the medications to finally start working and I could see the smile of my sunshine. Has she tried multiple meds? My daughter did genetic testing to find the right meds for her anxiety slash depression. Her doc ordered it through GeneSight, the best thing we ever did. Take time for herself. We have a child, she works hard and is a great mother, I wish she didn't feel so guilty about taking an evening off or going and grabbing coffee with a friend on the weekend. More spontaneous gestures of affection. Initiate stuff more, I don't mean just sexually. My last serious relationship ended because I realized I was the only one that put effort into doing stuff. I'd come up with fun date ideas, I would organize stuff, I was always initiating sex, I was always doing the emotional work first etc. The next partner I have, I want both of us to put effort in. Exist. Yeah I was gonna say existing would be a good start. Fuck beat me to it. I'm a girl reading the comments and I kinda like to see so many replies about playing with hair as I genuinely love to do that. But I'm also ecstatic when I receive that, though I feel like men are not really into it. At least both of my ex-boyfriends were not excited to play with my hair or got tired really fast when giving a massage. So yeah, women love it too. More work around the house. She moved in with me around a month ago and lost her job shortly before this, she is looking for a new job. I have a fairly demanding job which doesn't give me any free time most of the week so I end up having to do all the chores on a weekend. I'm finding myself still doing quite a lot more of the housework. Probably going to list out housework chores and see if we can create a fairer split. What does she do with her time since losing her job? Back scratch is the only answer. I just wish my wife would be more romantic. I know that she loves me, but I'd love for her to do more to show it. I'd love for her to buy me little gifts or plan a weekend getaway for us. I mean, she surprised me with a giant stuffed lobster for Valentine's Day, and I cuddle with the damn thing when I sleep. I love the way she reaches for my hand or arm when we're out and amp, about. I've never liked holding hands but with her, it was like automatic. Holy fuck can my girl cook. She's prior military and amp, has traveled a good amount, she cooks all kinds of crazy good stuff. Her smarts, geez I fall in love with her every time she geeks out over something mechanical. She works in the aviation slash aerospace industry and her stories are amazing. Edit, what ID want her to do more often? Probably let me cook more lol. Just be, positive. I dated a girl like this and I couldn't work out if she actually wanted to go out or not. Be more than just a figment of my imagination. Play with my hair. Bro I'm bald. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.